Yeah. Good morning. How's it going, bro? UK and today we're embarking on our next road trip which is from London to Geneva via some very cool places. We are of course on the road to ultimately end up at the International Motor Show but before we get there we're on our way to Spa, we're going to Nürburgring and some other cool places in between. We've got some very awesome cars and some very cool people. A very special McLaren P1 has just turned up. It's had the full MSO carbon body treatment and with a beautiful rose tint that has literally just rolled off the production line. So without further ado, let's hit the road and do this. just gone live. Welcome to the Ferrari FF and my very good friend Faisal Hello. and you, you've been organizing this trip for Geneva for the past few months. Yeah. If you were watching my channel literally 12 months ago to the day, to the day uh, this was the exact drive where I threw my mobile phone out of the window of my car. It flew. Really bad news. I just dropped my phone out of the window of my car I gotta last a week now. I gotta go a week. Anyway, the premise of today and the next few days is that we are on a drive to Geneva, but you're probably better positioned to telling us where we're going because you've arranged some quite exciting stops. Yeah. So we started in London, the Hyde Park actually. Yep. And uh, now we're heading to the Channel Tunnel. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to Gant. Which is just uh, outside of. Like, I have no idea where that is. Is it Belgium? It, it is Belgium. It's Belgium, okay. We're, uh, we're having lunch there. Okay, so London, a, France, A foodie Belgium. person said that that's a place we need to stop for so, food. So someone who's into his food said, we got to go there. Yeah. All right. And that's on our way to Spa. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll spend the night at the La Source Hotel. Awesome. Next to the La Source Corner, beautiful, which is a very famous. Corner beautiful. Uh, hopefully, with there's spa. someone, there's some crazy people driving around in winter. Should be nice. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. And uh, hopefully tomorrow they will let us drive on the track, which would be just great. Just for a, like a just for a lap, lap or two. Yeah, but nice. every time people say it's a parade lap, it, it turns might... into a <laughs> yeah, yeah, ten yeah. tenths lap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have the FF, which, to be fair, in this weather, I'm really thankful that we're, we're in it, and the bags that we've got. Because yeah. Faisal's going skiing after this. Se seven pieces of luggage. <laughs> seven inside. pieces of luggage, two drones, my bag because I just got back from uh, Sweden from the uh, ice tour. I've also got my backpack and camera gear, so FF's perfect for it. We also have Team Green's seven, 997 GT Gen 1 GT3 RS. Yeah. And we've got Phil, uh, who also joined us last year in XJ220. So as far as road trips go, it's Last year sweet. he was in a Miami white. The in most the, Miami, yeah, the most baller. Yeah. My, do you remember it had the phone in it? <laughs> this, this car looked like it had been built in the 80s. It had this like inbuilt mobile phone that was color coded to the yeah. outside of the car. And every time he passed by, you see him, see him on the phone <laughs> doing business. <laughs>
45 minutes now on the Euro Tunnel, which means any excuse, any time I get to edit, I try and smash it out to keep up regular content. But I also thought this would be an appropriate opportunity to do Instagram post of the day. And today is a little bit different, a little bit off topic because it's, uh, it's not cars, it's music. And this is James Hetfield of Metallica in the zone right here. Uh, reason I picked that is, so I basically grew up, my, my teens were Metallica. Uh, and every now and again, I see James Hetfield's big smile. He's in the zone, smashing out some big riffs and it always uh, reminds me of growing up, but also my time around cars when I just passed my uh, test too. So yeah, Metallica, check it out. Depressingly, it's not as sunny as it was in England, which makes a change. This is what can we do about it, man? Well, as it happens, lunch stops in Belgium. So hopefully yeah. the weather there will be better. And it's about an hour, hour and 20, hour and a half away, so like that. Hour, that and, 20, hour and 23, 146k. Where Hello. are we? Where are we? Uh, in a Ferrari. We're in a Ferrari showroom. car park. We've just no, not in a showroom. Yet. No, we're in the Ferrari car park. We've just driven through what at first seemed a sleepy Belgian village. Yeah. And it turns out there's every major supercar dealer here. And we just drove through, and in the window was a Grigio Silverstone La Ferrari. La, Ferra La Ferrari. La Ferrari. Giuseppe. Giuseppe. So we thought it'd be rude to not stop and say hello. more about maybe what I want from a car. Yeah. Like at the minute I'm getting more out of rear engine cars. The sort of driving experience that I'm after is like yeah. rear engine cars. And in weather like this, which we have a lot of it in England, like this car is so much better for that. I mean, earlier on, you were pulling out of junctions like flat in first, no issue. But in the F12, you'd be like in the hedge. There'd be no- You would be in the hedge. Be through the hedge. Be through the hedge. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, uh, I, I think you know selling it is a good thing. Uh, the price for these cars now is, is it's good. It's only going to go one way, isn't it? Exactly. But the eight twelve super fast. And people who are not who are not looking for a super fast now, yeah, might be looking for an F twelve. True. Uh, so yeah. So there's there will be a lot of movement. That yeah. Uh, the other thing is, it sounds so damn good. Like, personally, the, the two best things about the F12 is the way it looks and the way it sounds. It, it, I, I think it looks better than the Superfast. Yeah, although we haven't seen we it haven't in person. Seen it so, in real. we were just speaking with the, the salesman in there, and he was like, Listen, I've seen the car, the pictures just do not do it justice. You've got to see it. So we're seeing it in like two or three days' time at so Geneva. We're on the road to super fast. We're on the road to super fast. And so let's reserve judgment until then, yeah. and then we'll resume F12 chat after we've seen super fast. Yeah. 
All right, made it. We have made it to the hotel. Hotel oh, de la Source. Reception. As cool as this car park is, all race inspired and whatnot, we're struggling to find a way out. How is this, how can we navigate our way from England but we can't find our way out of a car park? <laughs> After you, sir. Thank you. We have arrived and it's time to crash. Oh, a long drive. Uh, even though I only did uh, the very last leg, it's still been fairly intense because the weather's been pretty dodgy, as I'm sure you've seen by the uh, footage so far. Anyway, enough of that. Check out this hotel. You know you're on brand when the hotel <laughs> has a Porsche in the lobby. How cool is this? So, Hotel Del Source is actually on spa circuit uh, i believe some of the rooms actually overlook the circuit uh, we're obviously here during off season but i can imagine during a race day this place being absolutely rammed and during any of the main races the 24 hour races i would imagine this is probably booked up for years it's an incredible place i've always heard about it and it's somewhere that i've always wanted to go so i'm very much looking forward to waking up in the morning and checking out its location so uh yeah anyway Everyone's here, all checked in. And on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Thanks for watching guys, ciao.